had a client who came to me a few weeks ago and she said, I don't understand, you know, I know I'm super smart, I'm brilliant, I'm qualified, I'm talented, I have all these skills and gifts and I know that I am good for the job, but anytime it comes to a board meeting, I shrivel down, I become small, I become as quiet as a church mouse, I have a hard time speaking up, I have fear, I feel not good enough. In other words, she feels so self-conscious and she has a, a really hard time expressing herself, even though she knows the answers, even though she knows that she has something important to contribute, even though she knows that she's smarter than half the people in the room, but what is causing that? And at the same time, again, of course, she already knows. I know I'm supposed to be there. I know that I'm qualified and relevant, but this behavior is just causing me so much aggravation, frustration, because then I walk out of the boardroom, I beat myself up, I get angry, I get cranky, I go home, I have so much guilt and shame, and I just... and. I have already read all the self-development books, I watch all these videos, I've been to therapy and I try to apply all of this and even though it makes so much sense and of course it's good advice, nothing sticks and for some reason this fear keeps showing up, I feel self-conscious, I feel not worthy, not good enough and clearly this woman has done a lot of investigation, she understands the problem, so she thinks and I, I absolutely adore her for that. You know, the investment she has made, the, the time that she has spent trying to fix this problem and yes, she has a lot of awareness about this and yes, she wants to change and yes, this change would be worthy pursuing because then she can actually for once in her life and for the rest of her life obviously, really take a stand, really be as assertive as she wants to be, the way she wants to be, so that she's seen, heard, understood, and she can feel good about who she is. So what's really going on here? Well, it's really, really simple. Imagine that this problem were a bucket, and you keep filling this bucket with water because you want to fill the bucket, it's got to be full. Wonderful, of course, makes sense. But what if you didn't know that there was a leak in that bucket, completely unbeknownst to you? And be, even though you keep filling it with water, eventually, you know, it, the water trickles out and you're like, I don't understand what's going on here. That's what causes a lot of frustration and aggravation. So we need to look at the problem about the problem. And this is where it's really useful, where we get to look under the hood, as I like to say, and really shine the spotlight on not, the question is not, why are you like this? It's not a good question, not an intelligent question, because your mind will find all the reasons why you're like that. And then you're back to the same problem. What we need to ask inside your subconscious mind is what happened to you that is actually causing this problem. And the minute you realize it, the minute you put that into light, I call this jolt therapy. You're like, oh my God, I didn't know what I didn't know. And it changes everything changes everything about how you feel about yourself, about how you act, about your energy, about who you are as a person. It literally changes everything about how you show up. And most importantly, this is why self-development books and programs and coaches and courses and therapists, yes, it's wonderful and useful and I can understand the positive intention, but the answer to this problem, to this leak, so to speak, the only person who knows is you. That's right, you guessed that right. And this is why this is so powerful and this is why this can cause human transformation within seconds. 